Hi, this is Charlie Sutterfield. Uh, today we are going to go through the process of editing a system family. And so I'm going to go into my project template that I've been working on. I'm going to use a shortcut to get there, uh, the purple R, click that for the drop down, and my template is right there among the uh, recently accessed documents. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that and let that open. And what I want to do today is to show you kind of the strategy for putting together a custom stacked wall. And we're going to incorporate into this coming up with a new material for an accent stripe that we could use in our custom wall. So um, we're editing the system family. We're also going to edit some materials. Uh, we'll do those in a pretty simple way uh, so that we don't make it too overly complex. So my template opened and I'm looking at my elevation view, my north elevation view. Um, I'm not going to be able to do much with walls in that particular one because my wall command is going to be grayed out and I'm not going to be able to just place walls. So I'm going to switch to a plan view. So I'm going to go to my project browser and double click on level one to open that. And I'm going to zoom in a little bit. And what I want to do is to, across the bottom of this project here, across my screen, I'm going to place one of the stacked walls that come with um, Revit out of the box. So I uh, go to the Home tab, click on Wall, and then in my Properties dialog box there, I can click that drop down in the selector. That opens up all of my um, basic walls. What I'm going to do is slide down and look at my stacked wall. So I've only got one. It's the one that comes out of the box. So I'm going to click on that to select it. And then I'm going to just draw a chunk of it down here across the bottom of my screen. And um, while I'm here, I'm going to place two other kinds of walls. Um, back to my wall command, drop down, click on wall. And then my uh, drop down there in my properties dialog. I want to place two other walls one is going to be brick on metal stud. I can just place that one right next to this one. And the other one is going to be CMU on metal stud. Place that one next to that one. Now I'm going to switch this to 3D. And I want to show you what happens when I start editing these things. So here's my 3D view. Let me turn on shaded in my graphic display options and fine detail. I'm actually going to orbit this thing a little bit around so that I'm looking at just these guys. Okay, so my point here is that my stacked wall really is just these other two walls uh, kind of glued together on top of each other. So when I uh, select that stacked wall, it's brick over CMU with metal stud. It's really that one, which is my brick wall, on top of that one, which is my CMU on metal stud wall. Um, so I want to show you how those um, kind of differentiate themselves and how they're tied together and things like that. So what I want to do, I want to end up with a wall that has some reveals built into it. And so I want to give this thing just a little bit of life. And so I'm going to create another brick wall that I can use as my uh, upper piece of my stack here. And so I'm going to uh, first select the brick wall that they're using right now. And I'm going to go into my type editor, and my strategy is to duplicate it, rename it, and then give it the properties that I want it to have. And we'll look later at why that's important. So I've got it selected. That's the one that I'm starting with. So I click on Edit Type. That takes me into my Type Properties dialog box here. Um, so the first thing that I want to do is duplicate this guy. And it gives me um, a box here to rename it. So that's what I want to do. I want to rename it. But this time, I'm going to take out the letter or the number two. They give that to me automatically. Uh, I'm going to make this brick with reveals on metal stud. And I'm going to click OK. And so now, when I look at my drop down here, I can see that I've got all of my walls available. And the one that I'm editing is the one that's in that um, the window there, which says brick with reveals on metal stud. So I'm good. I've renamed it. I'm, I've duplicated it. I still have my brick on metal stud wall type. It's uh, right there. Uh, but that's not the one that I want. I want to edit. 
So now I'm going to edit the structure. This is where I'm going to put in the reveals. And so I click on Edit Structure. And my Reveals button is down here in the lower right-hand corner of that dialog box. Right now it's grayed out. I can't actually press on that and have anything happen. The reason why that is, is I need to be in preview mode to be able to get to um, that button. And I also have to change my view from a plan view, which is the default view, to the section view, which is this guy right here. I'm going to zoom in on that just a little bit so you can see it bigger on the screen. Uh, I like this view because this view lets you kind of cycle through the various components that are in the wall. And as you do that, they um, turn blue on the preview. And so that way you can see exactly what it is that you're looking at. So now you'll notice that my reveals button is now available. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. That gets me into a um, dialog box here, and it wants me to go ahead and place the reveals in the wall. Um, I've got two options there. Let me slide this out of the way. I've got two options. One is sweeps, and the other is reveals. Sweeps are something that you would add to the wall, so maybe a water table or um, a corbel that sticks out or something like that. A reveal is something that eats into the wall. So um, I need to pick the size or the shape of my reveal. And right now there's none here. When I click the Add button, uh, now I've got a reveal. But I have to tell it what I want the profile to be. Right now it's set to default. And I've only got four options in there and they're all vinyl base. Well that's a little goofy. Uh, so what I'm going to do is load a profile in there. So um, what I'm after is the shape that my reveal is going to be. So I click on Load Profile, and now I'm into my Imperial Library. If I slide down in there, I've got a folder here that is Profiles. So just double-click to open Profiles. And now I've only got one choice. If I slide all the way down here, I've got one reveal that's already in here. So it's a Reveal Brick Course. So I'm going to go ahead and select that one and say Open. And that's going to now be in my drop-down. So now in my profiles, I've got a one brick, a two brick, or a three brick reveal course that I can have. And we'll do another video later that shows you how to edit that reveal. Uh, but let's say that we're just going to leave that, and we're going to use the, the one brick reveal. And I'm going to let that be at zero. I'm going to add another one. I'm going to have that be a one brick reveal. And this time I'm going to put it at uh, three feet above the base. Add another one. Have this be another one brick reveal. And this time I'll put it at six feet above the base. So now I've got three reveals that will be um, appearing over here in this preview in just a second as soon as I hit the apply button. So there it is. I've now got my reveals at 0, at 3 feet, and at 6 feet. Um, I'm going to go ahead and click OK. Now it looks like we are actually seeing um, a component there. You know, that reveal has four sides to it. So it looks like it's a thing, but it's really not a thing. Um, they're just showing you all four sides of the void. So um, that's just one of those things that you have to get used to. You'll see it on the wall itself. Uh, so let's take a look at that. I'm going to go ahead and click OK and OK. And so now I can see in this brick wall, which is my um, basic wall exterior brick with reveals, in that wall now I've got these reveals that are built into it. I'm going to go up here and click on Thin Lines. There we go, that looks a little bit uh, cleaner. And so I can see that I've actually got reveals that are showing up, those three that I had. So what if I wanted that to happen with this brick wall that's on top of my stacked wall? So what I'm going to do is go ahead and duplicate this. So actually, let me slide this guy down. And now I want to put in a chunk of my um, other wall type here. Just my regular brick on metal stud. I want to put that in just to show you that I've still got it. So I do have a brick wall type here. So this is brick on metal stud. And then I've got this one, 
which is brick with reveals on metal stud. So now when I go over into my stacked wall that I've got, I click on that one and I click on edit type. And now I go into edit structure. Here is where, let me make that a little bit bigger. So here's where I've got my choices. I've got exterior CMU on metal stud and brick on metal stud. That matches up to the wall types that I've been showing you. So if I change this upper wall type to brick with reveals on metal stud and say OK and OK, now that one is the one that appears and that's the one with the reveals. Notice that um, on this wall that's sitting on level one, that wall has the reveal at zero and zero happens to be the base of the wall. When I pick that wall up and put it on top of my um, three feet of CMU, then that um, says that now the base of the wall is at three feet, and so it starts the first reveal at three feet and goes on up from there. So just be careful with that when you're doing your math that um, the zero point of that wall is going to relocate based on what it's stacked on top of. So hopefully that makes sense. So, but what I should have done instead was to duplicate this wall type before I change that to the reveals. So I'm going to go back into that, edit type, and um, actually what I can do at this point instead of duplicate, instead of undoing and then redoing, I'm just going to rename this one. And so I'm going to make this exterior brick with reveal over CMU with metal stud and say OK. And so now that's what my wall type is going to be. Say OK here. And now it renames it for me. And so now that is my only stacked wall type. So if I click on wall up here, click the drop down in the properties dialog and slide all the way down, you can see in stacked walls, that's the only one I've got is the brick with reveals over CMU with metal stud. But I want to still have that original stacked wall type that I had when I started this project. So I'm going to draw another chunk of that stacked wall just so that I can visually keep them isolated. And I'm going to go back and make sure that I've got my original stacked wall that I had. So I need to do a uh, duplicate and some editing to this one. So uh, I've got it selected. I'm going to open the type properties and I'm going to duplicate it. And I'm just going to take out where it says with reveals and take out the number two and say OK. And so now to get it back to my original, I just have to go in and change here where I um, made it the one with reveals, make it the one without reveals and say OK and OK. And so now I've got both of my um, stacked wall types. So I'm going to bring it to a close there. And with the next video, what I want to do is go in and create um, a stacked wall that has reveals in it that could be of a different kind of brick. So maybe an accent stripe of brick. So come back for that one.